So this idea has been adopted by other countries. We are invited to start those. Who started small programs? One of the programs we thought in order to support them, we need a structure. So we created a structure in uh, Germany called you know, Social Business, that's what you've been hearing now, headquartered there, so that they can oversee their social businesses in other countries. So now there are programs in Haiti, programs in Colombia, programs in Brazil, in Tunisia, in uh, Uganda, and hopefully several other countries, in Albania. So this is the structure because in every country we go, we do two things. We create a social business incubation company, and there is a social business fund. Once you have the fund, it becomes easy to attract people's attention. You come up with ideas to solve problems in a business way. You bring the business design for us. If we like it, we'll invest. We'll become your angel investor. So it's our money, it's your idea, you do it, show us how to do that. And if it works, it really solves the problem, then you can keep on uh, adding, uh, multiplying it, replicate it. So you keep on solving the problem because you already found a way to do that. So this is one way we have in these countries we do that, the fund part and so on. So we need the fund to the fund. That's where there's funding issue came. And we are saying that in each country, if you have $5 million for four years, we can build up the whole infrastructure and create instances of the social business. Then others can see what social business means. It's a nice thing to say non-dividend company solve for you know, solving human problems. But unless you see it on the ground, you don't get the whole feeling of what, what exactly that is. So this would be the idea that we will look at seven countries, $5 million in each country, creating a fund of $35 million to go into all these seven countries, we can do that. Later on, if other countries come, uh, we'll have to find another five million for this country too. So this is the way the whole structure grows, and there are many already created. And one, we social business can be as small as an investment of $300. With $300, somebody already made a company like that. So this is a beautiful social business company. But to be at large is what we are doing in Haiti, reforestation of Haiti. Create a whole forest coverage for the country of Haiti because it lost all its forest. It's only 2% of forest coverage left in Haiti. So we have this shame that a beautiful island lost all its forest because of cooking, because of charcoal mining. So we wanted to create a social business. And forestry is a beautiful social business. It creates income right away. It creates jobs for everybody. And you can do it, provided you have the uh, legal issues resolved, the land issues, and so on. So the Haitian government is very enthusiastic to support us. And we got good partners. We have uh, Richard Branson join us in this deforestation of Haiti. And Clinton Foundation has joined us with us to deforest in Haiti. So this is an example of a big one. The small to the big. So it could be in between all kinds of shapes. One of the things we do in Bangladesh, we take the, we tell the young people who are coming up from the education with the education loans that um, they feel frustrated when they get they don't get the jobs because they finish the education but there's no job in the country. And Bangladesh, of course, is not alone in that situation. There are many countries, including in Europe where young people don't get jobs. The one that we, message that we are giving to young people in Bangladesh for a long time now, saying, forget about jobs. Make it your decision in your life, and mission in your life, and repeat this mission every day. We are not job seekers. We are job givers. So think like a job giver. Don't think like a job seeker. There's a tremendous difference between a job seeker and a job giver. So people at the beginning, we are used to get shocked. How do we do that? I'm looking for a job. He wants me to give jobs. How do we do that? So I try to explain to them, look, you are very privileged young people because your mothers own a bank. 
and your mother's bank has unlimited money. Why didn't you come up with ideas? And the bank will invest it. And you create your own <laughs> enterprise and create jobs for other people. And many of them are coming together. So in Bangladesh, we created the Social Business Fund. And we take these young people, give them a challenge, come up with business ideas. So every month, every week, we come, collect all those, and go through a kind of screening process. And we pick the one that uh, sounds like a good one. They can do that. And we become the investor. So he or she becomes our partner. And we do the investment. He does the business. And the deal is, as you make profit in this company, you buy, up, buy me off, buy the fund off. So that this business will be your business. You have nothing to do. All you have to do, whatever I have invested in your company, you just return exactly the same money. And my job is done. You are kind of launched, you do it. So now young people are coming up, competing with each other, who can come up with which idea and so on. So this is one way to create those. It's very simple ideas, not a complicated thing. Then once we, they become self-launched business plan with the funding of this, we said your job would be along with the business to find another two or three or four like young people like you, identify, train them so that they can take our money because we our money is waiting for you. So don't worry about money. It's just idea. Work is about idea, not about money. And solve that problem. So this is another way. So we create those what we call design labs. And uh, our monthly design lab in Bangladesh is also live streamed. And most of our discussion is in Bangla, some little bit of an English. We try to put in some English. This last one that we had, which is the ninth one, we had about 51 countries who watched this uh, uh, live streaming. And most of it, of course, in Bangladesh, who watched it on live streaming. And the second country was US. Very fascinating. And so it's a, out of these 51 countries, people respond. When one of the things that many people who were watching the live streaming said, I would like to invest in the company that the young guy was making. I like this guy, the way he I go for his case. I would like to invest in What is the investment amount? $5,000. That's it. So this is the way how you do uh, the social business. So this is the idea. If you have the money, ideas, you can ask without the money, come up with ideas, we'll find money for you. Doesn't know, maybe, maybe not. But you say, here's the money waiting for you. They become very serious. Because if I make it, this money will come. That's why the fund is very important. Once you have the fund, then all those ideas, all those competitions start happening. Ideas. And each one has to show how you're solving the problem. And if you can convince, and it looks like a good business, and is there. So this would be the one that uh, Saskia was playing today, is a uh, fund for seven countries uh, to launch those and create those creative ideas into those countries. And with this first phase of these countries take place with this uh, $5 million in each country, then it will be a, uh, something that will attract many other investments coming from all directions. So one is the money part, which I should emphasize. Another one, not always money. You can bring partnership so that you become a partner with this young man or a young woman who is going to say, I will give my $5,000, no problem. That's also a very important contribution so that we have a, lots of people coming forward. Or you say, give me a project of this kind, I'll be interested in investing. So that's a partnership. Or a company like Danone, like Yolia, you are connected with many companies. Ask them, why don't you become a partner in one of the projects that they're doing? Or you come up with social business and have partnership because they have the local entity which will run the show. So you don't have to worry about it. And you can go and bring your core uh, expertise to make it happen. So it can come in many different ways. You introduce your friends, introduce your companies, introduce your um, family members, 
the idea of social business, so that gradually we build that, that yes, it is something, uh, not just a theoretical issue, it's a very concrete thing, and we can get it done in a couple of years, and we see that, yes, it works. And if it works, it's like a seed. Once you develop a seed, you have conquered the whole world. Because the rest of the problem will be disappearing, because this seed will be now multiplied, and you have a big forest of companies which will solve the problem that we have at hand. The last point I want to emphasize. I said human creativity is just limitless. Unfortunately, this creativity is not channeled in solving human problems. It's channeled in making money through the existing type of business. So if you can create this, if you can bring this, redirect this creative power in a business way to solve problems, all the problems of the world can be conquered in your mind. Thank you very much.